Hey, it's me again. Uh, Cynthia here. I just want to tell you all a little story about the Illuminati so that you'll know they're not as clever as they think. My Illuminati, this is about my grandfather's sister. My grandfather was a good Christian man. My uh, great aunt, his sister, and her family, they pretended to be uh, Seventh-day Adventists. She is still living, by the way. She turned 101 in 2016 and, um, and is in pretty good condition. Uh, but let me tell you a little story about their family and how Satan, Lucifer, deceived them. Uh, their son was a fireman for a while, and then I can't remember if he, I think he, he left being a fireman. Anyway, he went to law school. He got a law degree. And he also, uh, once he got his law degree, he asked his father to be appointed uh, power of attorney for all of his father's investments. And his father uh, was a very successful dentist in Marietta, in Georgia, north of Atlanta. It's a suburb. And his father did that to him. He made him power of attorney. And what did his son promptly do? But uh, I guess he developed quite the cocaine habit and I don't know what other kind of habits, probably women and uh, all sorts of other stuff. Anyway he totally blew his father's $600,000 retirement fund. Now, it was probably even a little larger than that, but that's the number I was given. And not only that, apparently he stole money from a bunch of other people as well. I'm sure they were elderly. He ripped them off of their entire in, uh, retirement benefits. And when I caught up with his sister and mother, back in 2013, his sister told me the only reason he wasn't destitute was because of the fact he was still able to, to have his fireman's uh, pension, uh, which gives him a little money to live on. Uh, the point of my story, though, is going to be the fact that when your God is Lucifer, and he has deluded you into thinking that you're wonderful and you're going to be your own God and you're going to follow the Talmud and be this, you know, special person. I mean, look how deluded these people are. They, they can't figure out that their own brother and their own son ripped off his parents because of their follow, fellowship with Lucifer. I mean, how idiotic is that? Moreover... Uh, my Aunt Dorothy, her daughter, her daughter is barren. She was never able to have children. She's now in her late 60s. And I have both her, Joni, and another cousin, Debbie, and they're both barren. And they're so involved in their Talmud and their Eastern Star and their Kabbalah and all this. They don't know that in the Bible, they have been cursed by what they've done. God took away their ability to have children, you know, because of a family curse of always being into this idolatry with Lucifer. But have they been able to figure it out? No, because Lucifer has deluded them. And it just amazes me to think that you can worship Lucifer, have your son rip you off for all your life savings, so that you're now living in your daughter's garage, which she's fixed up, uh, you know, to make it livable. But still, can't don't you have the the wherewithal to ask yourself, gee, why did my son rip off his own parents and steal money from all these other people? I mean, Aunt Dorothy, before you go to the pit you better take a good long look at yourself and figure some of these things out because it's as, it's as obvious as the, the nose on your face. And that's all I have to say. I don't mean to be hateful or nasty, but I'm just thinking maybe if you hear this, maybe you'll go, duh, and uh, consider your circumstances and why you are where you are and where you're going, most importantly. 
get saved, believe in Jesus Christ, cut out your phony religion, Seventh-day Adventist, and read the Bible, the New Testament. Thank you. Bye-bye.